We're actually going to feed Lucy, who is uh, extremely excited. Lori, you had him sign the disclaimer about potential death, right? Yes. Lift up, up high. Oh my god. If I die, I do not hold the first <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It is getting chilly here in Michigan. But it's always a balmy 89 degrees Fahrenheit in my incubator room. We're gonna cut one really quick clutch of ball pythons before heading over to the reptarium because we do have an extremely busy and awesome day ahead of us. This is actually a fire bee, which is a pastel, a fire and a spider bred to a pastel. Should be some pretty nice stuff. Let's go ahead and cut this first egg. Here we go. Let's see if we get some cool babies in this clutch. All right, right off the rip. All right, so what we have here is actually a super pastel, possibly a fire. Actually, it does look like a fire because like a little bit of that pattern makes me think that it's definitely a fire. So this looks like what they would call a super fly, super pastel fire. Pretty good way to start. Egg number two. Come on, let me get some cool stuff. I love cutting eggs. Only a couple more clutches to go for the year. I'm gonna be so sad when they're all gone. Okay, this is kind of weird. It looks like maybe maybe a firefly, which is a pastel fire. Nothing too crazy, but still a cool little snake. Hopefully my odds get a little bit better with this egg right here, because we definitely haven't hit anything too crazy yet, but we'll see what happens. You know, again, we're early in the clutch. Okay. That's, oh, yeah, 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 that's a good one. That's basically all of the genes together. So that's a killer bee fire. That's actually beautiful. Look at that snake right there. Ooh, doggy, that's gonna be nice. Four eggs to go. Let's keep getting cool snakes, please. Okay, this isn't too bad. This is really, look at how clean and beautiful that snake is right there. Ooh, doggy, that is really nice. That looks like it's just a bumblebee fire. So again, that's just like the dad, which a pastel, a fire, and a spider. Next egg. Egg. Let's see what we got here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Whoa. Wait a second here. That thing is ridiculous. Okay. Remember when I said the other one was a killer bee fire? I think that I was wrong. This is definitely a killer bee fire. I think that one was just a bumblebee fire, which means it's not the super pastel. Oh my gosh. That thing is ridiculous. All right. Two more eggs. Gosh, I hope I get another one of those. That thing was crazy cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then look at this. This looks like it's just either a fire spider or maybe even just a fire. It's hard to tell, but because I'm still brimming over that last egg. Oh my gosh, one egg to go. All right, gosh, wouldn't it be awesome if we just had one more of those killer bee fires in there? But again, I don't want to get greedy. Didn't get lucky on this one. Looks like another just either fire or probably a fire spider. Not too bad, though. We got a kind of a good variety of all kinds of stuff in that clutch. I'm still really glad that we hit the killer bee fire. That thing is ridiculous. All right, let's get over to the shop because, like I said, we have a lot going on today. All running around doing my kind of first checks in the morning, making sure everything is okay at the Reptarium. Again, we're open tonight, so we have a busy night, but we have Ben in town from New Jersey. He's gonna be spending some time with me. I'm excited to just kind of hang out with him and kind of show him my world. One of the things that's really exciting today is you guys see this kind of table over here. I had mentioned a while ago that we're having a counter made, and it's supposed to be like really cool. Well, my buddy Corey and Jay are the ones that are doing it, and they wouldn't show me. They've been showing pictures of the crew and Lori, and they're like, we're not showing you. Well, it gets installed today. So they're going to be here in about a half an hour. I'm going to do the best I can do to kind of put blinders on and not see it until it's completely done so I can share with you the experience of like seeing the reveal. So regardless, just going to do a walkthrough, make sure everything okay. Lucy is going to get fed today. Everything else is looking really good so far. Uh, oh, look at this. Look at this little monkey up there. How awesome is that? I love when I see retakes climb like that. It is so cool. So we're gonna go ahead and just get everything kind of situated here. Get ready, Ben's on his way, counter's coming in. Lots going on today. So I'm here with Lindsay and Ben and they're gonna be spending the day with me having some fun. Ben, you have a YouTube channel? Yes. Uh, what is it? BP Exotics. BP Exotics. I will put a link in the description. We're gonna have a good time with them. My friends are showing up with the counter anytime, but again, I'm gonna try to be blindfolded so that I have like the reveal when it's completely done. So so uh, you've got Perdita out. Yeah. Oh my God. She's so beautiful. She's awesome. Oh my gosh, all right. So let's get to it. They're loading in the counter now. Uh, again, I'm not looking, so I'm just kind of going backwards. I don't have the viewfinder out, so I can't see behind me. Uh, that's why I just ran into Bowser's tanks. Are you guys loading it in? 
<laughs> is it there? Yeah, we got it. Okay, all right, so you guys are getting the first look of it, but uh, I'm not looking, so uh, let's get back to some animals. <laughs> <laughs> Oberde is deep in shed and still a sweetheart. That's what makes her so incredible. People think that anacondas are all like mean and aggressive, but look at, I mean, even deep in blue, she's just a puppy dog. She's such a cutie. So, uh, Lori, you saw the counter. What do you think? No, I didn't see it. <laughs> I can't see it. I can't see it. I'm not looking. Oh, I'm you're not allowed to see I'm it. I'm not allowed to see oh. it until the very end. So. Oh my God. You know what? It's terrible. I Is swear it terrible? God, they did such a bad job. Like, you're going to be so the, disappointed. The anticipation is literally <laughs> killing me right now. I told them I wouldn't look until it's completely done. Uh, I think they said that the glass still needs to go in in a little bit, so that might put. But is it cool? Uh, you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised. I was. All I right. mean, they definitely knocked it out of the park. For sure. Awesome, I can't wait. All right, back to some animals. So I noticed that they're all wearing matches shirts that say BP Exotics, but what I didn't notice, and Lori just pointed out, is look at this, the Reparium Tour. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. How did you guys not tell me this? This is amazing. Surprise. <laughs> ben, I know you're excited to see Bella, huh? Uh -huh. Yes, okay, there we go. On. She's gonna, she's gonna love your attention. <laughs> hey, Belly. Hi, oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> so Belle is one of those situations where sometimes she comes down, sometimes she doesn't want to come down. We let her kind of dictate what she wants, to be honest with you. So she came down for a second to see us, and then she jumped back up. So I just said, Ben, go in there and just spend some time with Bella. She's amazing, isn't she? She's really cool. So the time has come. I get to actually see this counter. Again, my friend Corey and Jay did it for me. Lori has already seen it. Oh, it's even covered. You guys have it covered. I can't even see it. All right, so let's do the big reveal and uh, get my initial. I just get excited about every part of this. You guys know that I love the Reptarium. I love every part of it. And this is just one more kind of step in the journey of completion. So, uh, all right, guys, ready? Here we go. All right. Oh my, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? That is freaking insane. Holy cow, do you see this? Oh my, the, dude, this, is, this is so, this is, this is, okay, this is beyond my expectations. Oh my gosh, it literally does look like an old shipping crate. Caution, live reptiles. Of course, this is where we're, oh, it even has the heat lamps in it. Oh my gosh, this is where we're gonna put some of the Reptarium merch and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, we just need to get glass for this. Oh my gosh, the top is amazing. Look at this. This is what you're talking yeah, about with this that is light. epoxy resin. You can actually beat this with a hammer and it'll look just like that. Oh so my. it's great for uh, commercial application. Oh my gosh. And, and we're going to probably beat this with a hammer later. Just to set it up. No, 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 we're not going to do it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Handle with care. Oh my gosh. It's got the barcode on it. Oh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I, I know this isn't an animal, guys, but I can't help but get like so excited about it. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh. You, you outdid yourself, dude. This, 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 it's, it's exactly what you explained to me you wanted. Like oh when I saw God. it, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, that's like, definitely wow. what I It's got like random numbers on it, like shipping numbers. <laughs> I'm stoked, man. This is. Thank you, man. Give yes, me sir. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Good, I'm glad you like it. Oh my God, I, I don't just like it, I love it, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, I'll put any links in the description if you guys want anything like built like this. But actually, his wife does have a really awesome company that does like all this graphic stuff like that. I will put a link in the description if you guys need something really cool. They also made the Reptarium sign outside. So thank you guys again. This is absolutely amazing. Just one more thing to add. These random numbers here are actually not random numbers. They told me that this is actually the longitude and latitude of the Reptarium right there. Oh my God. He thought of he thought of everything. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna spend a little time in the dungeon, uh, take a look at some ball pythons, some various odds and ends. And then of course, we gotta show him RJ. You know, I mean, you can't come down here and not see RJ. I'll probably bring RJ over sometime this weekend to the Reptarium. I'm not exactly sure when. Keep an eye on the calendar. We usually update you guys on this, but we're gonna have a good time down here. We got RJ out. Uh, we're gonna let Ben get his first opportunity to play with RJ. You ready for this? Yeah. All right, just hold, hold underneath. Okay. Like this, he might wiggle on me a little bit. Look, oh, those are big claws. 
So RJ was a little pistol this morning. He was running around a little bit, but uh, but he's starting to calm down now, right, RJ? What do you think? I mean, he's this heavy. is cool. This is a big animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said it looks small in the pond, but when but, you get it out, it's a little different, isn't it? Yeah. RJ, you're being so good. So we're just spending some time with Mary, showing them a bunch of ball pythons and stuff like that. You said you wanted oh to see a, a dream sickle. So Eric, everyone is always looking to you for inspiration, advice. Ben is an up and comer. He's a YouTuber, he's a snake guy. What's your advice to them? I mean, if you have Dude, to just tell them. Chances make champions. Don't hold back, just go for your dreams, man. Go big, don't look back. People will say, oh, this could happen, this could happen. Just go for it. Consequences later. Pretty good. <laughs> That was actually, I gotta yeah. be honest with you, yeah. I was expecting was, something was, like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry to get so deep on you, but I had to do it. All right, you heard it here, you heard it here. That goes for everyone out there. Uh, Eric's words of wisdom. So the last thing we're gonna do with Ben is we're actually gonna feed Lucy, who is uh, extremely excited. Laura, you had him sign the disclaimer about potential death, right? Yes. Okay, good, good. So actually, on video, you could just say, if I die, I do not hold the AC responsible. If I die, I do not hold <laughs> no, trust me guys, it's gonna be okay. No one's dying today. Uh, but you said you do want tongs. Feeding yeah. tongs, okay. All right, I'm not gonna make uh, them do it by hand, but, but you ready? Yep. Okay, tongs behind you. Okay, thank you. Oh, Lucy is excited. Careful, you're trying. Lift up, up high. Oh my god! <laughs> that wasn't that bad, right? No, that was like a lot of power. It's a lot of power, oh a lot more god. power than people think. Uh, now we just gotta get her back in the cage. Yeah. <laughs> it's all you, birthday boy. Yeah, let's her up. Let her in there. Yeah, you're right in there. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 just messing with you. I got her. Come on, sweetheart. You know, that was enough for me. <laughs> you did good. Good job. Good job. <laughs> so, so there it is, guys. We're wrapping up the tour with Ben, but we do have one last bit of business to take care of. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. Happy oh birthday ah. to you. Happy birthday to you. I'll throw up the rep You guys sick of it yet? Let me know down below. I still love it. I want to share it. I'm trying to keep it less than a couple minutes in the video when we are open so that you guys don't get bored of me just doing it. But this is what I live for, educating people and having a good time. So let's go ahead and open up the doors and get this party started. How are you? Hi, how are you? How's it going? Come on in, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, guys. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you guys coming in. Hi, hi. How's everything? This is so awesome. Can I see it? Oh, my God. Freaking Morty. Oh, thank you so much. I You're love welcome. it. I love it. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you. Again, it's like I always say, I don't want to bore you guys with the fact that, oh, look at the Reptarium, whatever, but it has been another amazing night. Sorry, guys. It's been a, it's been so great. Tons of people. Tons of people excited about things. We're going to go ahead and take out the big water monitor right now, continue to get him habituated around people because uh, he has to continue to learn how to be around all these people. He's super tame, but he's a little timid right now, so let's go see what happens. You guys can come right back here and chill with them if you want. That is so cool. Get out here and pull off his tail though. Hey buddy. We have about an hour till close and then we actually have a movie night tonight at the Reptarium that is actually the movie Anaconda. It's just a little bit of a spoof. I think it's a funny movie. We're gonna have a great time, have some pizza, just kind of chill out. But I wanted to take a break, come over to BHB. Uh, I just can't even express to you guys what I've been feeling about the Reptarium. I mean, in my wildest dreams, I didn't think it was gonna be the success it is. I realize it's only been a month. We don't know what the future holds, but I just, 
am overwhelmed by the outpouring of people traveling in, the local community, people just really supporting it. And I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you for kind of hanging in there with me. I hope that you guys don't get bored of this journey with this. It's amazing to me. This is what I wanted to do my whole life, educating people, getting people that are fearful of snakes over their fears, getting people that are really into snakes, even more into snakes, uh, really trying to change as many people's perception of these animals. And I never in my wildest dreams thought it would turn out the way it did. It's been amazing. And I know a month doesn't make a trend, but oh my gosh, every day has been unbelievable. I mean, hundreds of people are showing up. It's blowing my mind. And I just wanted to take this minute, step away, express to you guys how much this has meant to me and how much I appreciate you guys. And, and for those of you that watch every day that wish you could come, thank you for watching. Please, I hope you don't get bored. We'll continue to try to make it as exciting as we can. But um, wow, I mean, I don't even know what else to say other than thank you guys. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get back over to Reptarium again. We got Anaconda here in about now. It should be an awesome time. So one of the things we do at the end of the night when there's not a ton of people, there might be 20, 25 people in here, is we're able to take out animals that we haven't really taken out much to try to get them habituated to be handling. This is a blood python that we're definitely bringing out. Kind of seeing if we can get her into the rotation. We've got the black-eyed leucistic over here. We've got a couple snakes over here. All stuff that isn't quite ready to be out when there's lots Lots of crowds of people here, but uh, we're trying to work them through. So probably a couple weeks of doing this when we can really trust them. The blood python is doing absolutely amazing. And let's go ahead and get the movie night started. Tonight the movie is Anaconda. That's right, the movie Anaconda. We're gonna have a good time. I don't. I like the movie, so let's get started. All cleaned up after the Anaconda movie night. This was one for the books. We had a great time. Everyone had an unbelievably awesome adventure watching Anaconda. The truth be told, hardly anyone watched the movie. Everyone was just hanging out with the animals, having a good time. So it has been a long day, but an absolutely incredible one. Again, I didn't even know. I'm running out of things to tell you guys about how awesome this is. All I know is that I'm gonna end the vlog, get some rest, and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support is why I can have these amazing days like I did today. Thank you so much. I truly, truly, truly do love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below so I can read about you guys. Be kind to someone. And I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>